Hi there everybody, Tracy Reed here from SweetShopsDesigns.com. I'm bringing you a short little tutorial on how to make your own and save your own layer styles. Now I have this cute little layout here which coincidentally happens to be a sneak peek at my kit coming this weekend but that's another story. And on this layout I have a little picture of my guy from last year and I've shadowed everything and I've been playing with the shadows recently trying to up my shadow game and really make things look more realistic. So in that process I've been saving my own layers, my own layer styles, so that I can repeat the process quickly and effectively next time. Now I don't think that the shadow on this um, flower is very realistic yet. I think it should be a little bit bigger and deeper because I like heavier shadows. So I'm going to open up my layer style palette by double clicking on the effects in the layer palette. And then I'm going to play with this layer style until I find something that I like. Now you'll see if I increase the distance, it gets farther out and darker as we get away from the flower. And if I increase my spread, it reaches farther away from the flower still. And if I increase my size, it gets more and more feathery. So none of that looked right. So let's just play around with this a little bit until I like what I see or don't just for the purpose of this tutorial. We want it to go kind of quickly. Maybe I'll up my darkness a little bit. Oh, not that much. And I'll bring my distance back in. And my size. And my... Well, my spread's okay. Alright, so we'll just accept this for now. And... Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. So let's say I like this style. There's two ways to save your style into your styles palette, which is over here. Um, first, if you're in this dialog box still, you can hit new style, and then you'll want to give it a descriptive name. So I'll name this one big flower style and hit okay. And then if you notice, it shows up over here in my styles palette. Now the other way to save a layer style is in fact just to when you have the layer chosen selected that you want to save the layer style on you can just go right in here and click in an empty space and it'll bring up the same dialog box so we'll put big flower style in here and hit OK and there it is again. So that is super simple and easy way for you to save your layer styles for future use. Now, if I wanted to save this whole set as a set of layer styles, let's call them Tracy's shadow styles, you go over here to this little arrow and you click, oh and now it's off my screen so let's go over here a little bit. You click on the little arrows and you go to Preset Manager and then you're going to want to have all of your layer styles that you want to save selected. So you click on the first one and then you click, you hold down Shift and click on the last one and hit save. And then when you save set, your appropriate file will come up. So we'll want to, I'm just going to save to the desktop and I'm going to name them Tracy's Shadow Styles and there we go. Now they are saved to my desktop and I have them for future reference. I hope this tutorial has been help for, helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them.